the 6th of July, 1988. The situation's a bit uh, unclear at the moment. Um, they've no idea how many people are involved or anything. Do you know roughly how many people? No idea. Made a explosion and fire on the Piper platform. All personnel abandoned. And the rescue, rescue one three eight is on scene. Rescue one three eight, this is Amber. Rescue Roger on scene. Out. Bloody hell, it's really on fire, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's sweating already. Uh, zero one, uh, Thoros. The situation is that the platform is completely on fire from sea level to top. Uh, we have in fact pulled back somewhat. Uh, the structure is uh, collapsing and it is uh, total fire. Uh, we are continuing to spray water on it. One of the standby vessels has reported having 25 casualties, which includes three serious burns and one injury. We wish to get rid of our non-essentials so that we can handle these casualties when we bring them on board. Rescue uh, zero 01, copy. Rescue 138, the Pharos, we wish you to collect 12 passengers first and proceed then to Ocean Victory to collect paramedics. Okay, okay they want us to uh, go to Pharos, pick up another 12, then go to Ocean Victory, which is 250, 9.5 miles from our present position. Can you see them on radar? Because I've difficulty seeing things in all this flaring light at the front. Okay, we're back on radar. Stay on radar, Yeah, I'm very Right, there she goes. She's certainly collapsing. Fire off. Rescue uh, 138. Oh, we cleared the crows on land on your holiday. Rescue 138, that is correct. Okay, you've all cleared for it, Bob. Okay, good. Okay, okay clear to, uh, to close. Good one. Okay, it's coming down. Are you going to bring him into the front or the back? Yeah, rescue zero one, so just to advise you of the vessel's intent, we uh, are going to try and move back towards the uh, platform to uh, endeavour to keep things cool and to uh, hopefully prevent some of the underwater explosions that we're frightened of. Saros Yankee Bravo, as you've probably been told, uh, the risers have obviously broken and uh, the oil is now coming straight up onto the sea. And in fact, the sea is um, burning as well. Ocean victory. We'll take out medic. Hello, first coming in. Affirmative. How many? Two, one, three, 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 four. All right, we have one, two, three, four. Aeros, rescue, uh, one, three, eight. Airborne promotion, Ripple victory with four paramedics on board. E.J. Ferros, uh, Vickers Bob. Oh, it's really going now. Bloody hell. Gee, it's a bit hot on this side. Oh, okay. There's my window. Getting off the radio from here. Bloody hell, it's really on fire, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big one. Alright, it's better falling down. Mine, oh mine, she's really boiling. The scope is right. Ferris rescue, Ferris rescue. Ferris forward, 23 descending. Just a crane on the left. Yes, I can see that. First thing descending. Clear it out. Clear it out, yes. Rescue 138. I have made contact with the vessel Silver Pit, who now has 30 some casualties, including some injured. Check the feasibility of commencing the winch recovery of those people to me. Yeah. He is moving closer to Thalos. He is a converted fishing vessel with a small uh, landing area. Okay, how many can we take? Uh, 12, 14, 14. Yeah. 
Ja, de hike is goed, de kleur van Duits. Rescue 01, set rep. Rig is now believed to be emitting hydrogen sulfide. And there is a high probability of an underwater explosion. There were 227 men on Piper Alpha that night when the two explosions ripped through the rig. The flames reached 500 feet high. The only chance of survival was to jump 200 feet into the sea, which was ablaze with burning oil. Of those 227 men, only 67 lived to see another day. <laughs> 